What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks, this is Droids Finest, and I am back with Evil Land 2, Part 19. I would just want to check in here really quick before I go into the library. Okay, or I don't. That's fine, too. Um, no, oh, I don't know. I don't want to talk anymore. No to talking. This was the castle, but I don't think I can go into the castle anymore. So I'm going to just take a look. Long day, members of militia come here to rest in the Imperial courtroom. It's funny to think hundreds of years ago were... Oh, okay, actually lived here. They must have been skilled lieutenants who won the war. Okay, so I think... Yeah, this is just... More talking. But I don't need to talk at this point. I don't need to talk anymore, so... That's lovely. Well, at least for now. I actually have to go into the library and I gotta ugh, do that. But also, I need to talk to Mr. Fogwell about getting a pass to go and, uh, oh god. Okay, where is Mr. Fogwell? I need to talk to him about getting a pass to use the boat. Because this game is apparently branching off into a huge game now. Ooh, plants. For goodness sake, Marion. I told you thousands of times not to wrinkle the linens. You poor girl, you have obviously no sense of perfection. The Great Destroyer demands perfection, and I serve the prophet who represents the Great Destroyer. Oh god, everybody in this house is a pain in the ass. The missus is so demanding, I'm more frightened of her than the Great Destroyer. I'm not even sure he actually exists. The missus, on the other hand, I couldn't be more sure. Well, yeah, I mean, I've gone and blasphemed without mentioning, without meaning to. Please, don't turn me into the disciples, I beg you. Oh, God, get away from me. You're weird. Hello, Mr. Fogwell. Or Mr. Mudwell. Well, hello there, citizen. What can I do for you? Who are you? Oh, I'm... Oh, I'm but a humble trader for a long time... From a, from a long line of traders. My grandfather was already a professional merchant at the time of the Empire. He was, the, he was a real healer. Helping, uh, he was a real hero, helping those in, who needed passage in or out of Genova during the war. I know him. He did many favors, and he also earned money... That, his keep he earned money his keep by working hard thus was born the fogwell dynasty quite a beautiful story isn't it well what can i do for you oh god it's gonna be this it's gonna keep adding shit the great disaster happened 60 years ago on the 50th anniversary of empire's victory over the demons no one knows exactly what happened except that a huge explosion wiped out the southern part of the continent. Genova was not entirely spared, and the turmoil that followed ultimately led to the Empire's demise. Thankfully, the traitors were there to restore order. What can I do for you? Oh, God. Oh, God. No! No! Uh, the traitors. After a great disaster, after the great disaster, my father and his merchant friends came to the Empire's rescue. They formed the council that would take actions necessary to Genova's survival. Someone needed to act quickly, uh, what with all the chaos. The militia was created to replace the army. The former imp imperial tax system was abolished to make way for a fairer system. They gave people their freedom back. Since then, everyone is free to do trade and become wealthier. Oh, naturally, traitors' sons all become traitors themselves, but at least everyone has a chance. What can I do for you? The smug. The explosion of the great disaster left behind a gaping hole filled with this strange substance. As no one rightly knew what the stuff was, people called it smug. Our scientists quickly found that the smug could be used for as an energy source. The traders declared a monopoly on the buying and selling of smug and built a smug line to transport it to Genova. Since then, everything has been fueled with smug, and everything and every time people use some more money lines the council's pockets. 
Isn't it? Isn't technology grand? What can I do for you? A boat. Thank you. Oh, so you're looking to get to the cursed island. It's a weird place. I wouldn't go near it if I were you. But, hey, it's your call. A force majeure letter signed by me is all you need to set sail. Naturally, it'll cost you. Would you have something interesting to trade? Um, not really. Uh, do you want, um, oh my god. Do you want gravity? What on earth is that? Who would want that? Oh, God. Uh, loyalty badge? Oh. Why, that's one of my grandfather's badges. It worked! Apparently. I thought they'd, been all, they'd all been lost in the Great Disaster. Their value is strictly sentimental. Please, give it to me in exchange for the pass of safe conduct. Great! That worked! I... Okay. As promised, here you go. Okay. I had no idea that I had to do that. But there we go. I mean, I knew I had to talk to him. I didn't know about giving him the friggin' loyalty badge. The Great Disaster? My village swallowed up by the smug? And look what's become of Genova Wap. Is that really our future? He did not mention demons. They must be hiding somewhere. I cannot believe they all vanished into the thin air. That's not the number one problem here. My village, my parents, everyone is gone. Wap, we have to stop this great disaster from happening. I understand your anguish, Miss Poop. But if it is indeed possible to change the course of events, we should start by saving my people. That can't be changed, Dick. The demon's defeat is part of history. I learned about it in school in the past. But that's happened here. But what's happened here, that hasn't happened yet. Perhaps in your past, Miss Poop. But to me, your present is my future. What might happen to the Empire is none of my concern. I want my people to live, to not be wiped out by their, our enemy. But if the Empire doesn't defeat the demons, that could change everything. I mean, maybe I wouldn't even exist. It's just too risky. And what of the people who live here and now? Maybe they too will disappear if you alternate, alter the past. Does that not bother you at all? But who knows exactly what can or cannot be changed. It may well... Oh, it may well be all of this already exists. Perhaps we have already come here. We have already done all of this, so no matter what we do now, nothing can be changed. Now we're, now we're getting into some, some time travel shit. You know what, Dick? I don't really know. But I'm at least going to try... That's all we can do. How about it, Wop? Do you think we can change time? Probably. We'll, we'll try it. You see, Dick, Wap is an optimist, just like me. And if we can, what do you think we should change? Both. Both. Thank you, Super Morio. I knew I could count on you. Are you sure, Wap? It's pretty risky. Could throw off the world's balance. Good! I'm all about throwing off balances. But we would still need to be able to turn back time. I don't... I do not know what is possible or even reasonable to hope for. But anything else... We... But anything else, we must find a Magilith. Oh, that much I completely agree, Dick. Let's go to the library and dig up some info. I have a good feeling we'll find out... Where the Magilith is. Okay. You heard that, Wap. Let's get going. Okay, my throat is literally on fire from talking. I mean, it's a great storyline so far, and I'm really enjoying it, but normally I don't have to read everything out so much. Most of the time I'd read it in, in my head, 
and I, I don't have my throat going out on me and blowing up. Okay, so I already did all that, though, so I can actually just go to the library at this point. Key to the library. Oh, even in the past, I couldn't get into the library. Welcome to the Genova Ro Library. I suppose you're the new students. Yeah, sure. I am the Dean of Genova Library. The researchers devote our lives to extremely important matters. For example, finding out why it itches when one is bitten by a mosquito. Oh, we're not concerned with finding a cure or some such nonsense. Knowing why it itches is clearly more interesting. But, by the... By the by? By by the by. I will discuss my own research when time permits. I am an expert in the study of ancient Magi civilizations, specifically with the legends surrounding their use of strange powers and late antiquity. But before I can tell you all about that, you need to complete some you need to complete your studies. It's just that, look, Professor, we're in quite a hurry and, ow, <laughs> quiet. You are students and in the library you must submit to your professor's authority. Unless you do not want to, or unless you do not want to, uh, unless you do not wish to learn anything. In which case, get out. No, I'm here to learn. Please forgive this. Please forgive student Dick, Mr. Dean, sir. We'd be delighted to follow your lessons. In particular, the ones about Magiliths. Right, Dick? Yes. Well then, if you're determined, let us begin. You must receive credit for six core discipline disciplines, courses in various fields, to do so, you need only to speak to my research, researcher colleagues in the library. Each of them will submit a problem allowing you to get credit for a particular subject. You can choose your own curriculum. You're under no obligation to do all of them, but I may have a little reward if you complete all eight. I thought he said six at first. Did you get all that? Yeah, sure. Splendid. Have fun, then come back when you're all done. But no sooner than that, I simply hate being disturbed. <laughs> Reminds me of my old professor. I've always loved studying, it's fun. Ugh. I don't. He seems to know much about the Magi. He will certainly have much to tell us about the Magiliths. I'm sure he will. Okay, high disciple number one. Wait, he did say- he said six at first, right? Oh god, it's all blocked. It doesn't matter anyways. Are you the new pupil? I dug up a strange relic with a mechanism. I can't get a handle on it. Do you have a few minutes to spare? Sure. You're too kind. Here, this strange item was found in some ancient Hyrulean- oh my god, Hyrulean ruins. Really? Really? There is no lock on it. Save this... F wait, save for this bizarre keyboard set with symbols. You would do me a great service by opening it. Mysterious... Wait, what? Mysterious relic. Um... This chest will open after this... 16 buttons are pressed in the right order. The gold button must be triggered last. But which button... Which button must be pressed first to unlock the mechanism? That 
That's a good question. forever. I thought it had to go 3, 2, 1, 0, because I, it didn't say 1, 2, 3, 4 anywhere, so yes. N3, Mysterious Relic. This chest will open after the 16 buttons are pressed in the right order. The gold button must be triggered last. Okay. Question. I have no idea. Maybe this. Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna do every one. I don't know. It's whatever. It'll let me do every single one, so I don't know. I don't care. I might have to, oh god, I might have to do a whole other episode just doing these puzzles. <sighs> oh my god, just do, oh my god, press it, press, <sighs> Okay, I think I've pressed every one, so... Done every one. I'm going to do every two now. That was it. Uh, apparently. I have no idea what that wanted from me. Oh, thank you dearly. That was not so difficult after all. Now I'll grant you your archaeology credits. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, there is only six, not eight. That old dude is an idiot. Okay, let's see if I can get one more down. My friends, uh... It's a wee play her pleasure that... I explain you classic painting. You want a learning? Sure. Thank you. My friends, uh, painting a classica. To complete the painting, move the colors so that no color appears in the same column twice. Same line or column twice. The colors marked with a marked with a dot can be moved or cannot be moved. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. So, oh my god. Yeah. Okay, I get it.
Oh, I can move them diagonal. Okay, that's cool. to be moved too. Nailed it. Okay, I'm gonna do one more episode. I wasn't planning on doing five episodes tonight, but now I'm doing these puzzles and I'm actually having fun, so I'm gonna do one more tonight. Bravissimo! You are deserving the credits of painting as a classica. I think that person's supposed to be Italian? I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to do one more tonight. I wasn't planning on doing five episodes tonight, but I'm enjoying this part right now. So, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Peace!